So Sensor Tower at SensorTower.com is another good app research intelligence type of service. It differs from App Annie a bit. Uh, it's kind of more of a service that's really trying to break down like, you know, what keywords the apps rank for, uh, things like that to help other app users, uh, you know, do the ASO, the, the kind of app store, you know, optimization like SEO, but for, for the app store. Here's, you got to know this though, the data isn't completely accurate. I've seen some data that's way, way off. They do have some data that some of it's kind of, you know, points in the right direction and you can learn some things uh, and it can give you a good idea about some things, but don't take any of this data that any of these services share as gospel, so to speak, because a lot of it's estimated. But you can come in here and type an app name, listen to the old famous Angry Birds, and it'll show you like the, the visibility and all these other things. It's estimating downloads, um, how much revenue it made. Um, I find it hard to believe that the original only got 30,000 downloads in all of May worldwide. Um, but I don't know where they're getting these numbers from. But keywords that it's finding, it doesn't necessarily mean it's ranking for those keywords. Um, and, but a lot of times it can, but it's pulling those keywords, of course, from description and from other areas. Uh, but anyways, it, it's some people swear by this service. I've noticed a lot of discrepancies, but it's like anything else, it can be a good starting point to find some overall intelligence. If you're researching a few apps that you may want to compete with, it can at least give you some good information or some good ideas on keywords, some other things, some some basic uh, you know, data points uh, that, that then you can just kind of use to form your overall strategy. But check out sensortower.com, poke around uh, with it. And depending on your market, depending on the apps, it, you know, it may be, uh, could be better than for, for other types of apps where the, the data isn't like, you know, super, super accurate. But it's one of those things where you just, you're going to have to test it out and see uh, if you can use any of the data to your advantage in order to kind of uh, move forward with your own mobile apps to compete with whatever it is that you're kind of doing the research on.